Hello guys, this is Pavelas from Laravel Daily and today I want to show you a quick trick I can call it or things I didn't know before. Maybe you don't either. So uh, what do you think? How uh, MySQL uh, works with auto increment if the record fails for some reason? And I'll give you a concrete example. So I have a users table here and I can add new user and let's use the same email that already exists, right? Uh, row, and in my database I have this. So one user with email, uh, and email is is unique field uh, on a database level. But in validation, let's say I forgot to put unique rule, so I have SQL error here. SQL error, duplicate entry, admin, admin. Yeah, okay, I go back. And now if I put another email instead, like I forgot, oh, okay, whoops, I enter something else, I click save. What do you think is the ID of that second record? This is ID 1, this is ID 2 or 3? The correct answer is, refresh, 3. Uh, my point is if you fail SQL query, uh, for insert. Uh, the ID is already being taken. So if you do the next query, you get the next available ID, which is three, and then four, and then five. Uh, why it is important? In most cases, it isn't. But if you encounter some error in your seeds, for example, uh, where IDs are really important because they are foreign keys for something else, for some other table, then IDs may be quite crucial. Of course, for seeding you may even specify the IDs to avoid any kind of errors of this kind, but just it may be interesting to know. It's just like almost a trivia question for a pop quiz, so what should be the value of ID? It's not that practical, but I thought it was interesting to show and maybe interesting for you to know. Have you encountered that problem or was it new to you? Please shoot in the comments and see you in the next videos of this YouTube channel, Laravel Business.